Curious George plays basketball. George, said the man with the yellow hat, Jimmy is playing basketball at school today. Why don't you go with him and watch? George and Jimmy walked to the school gym. George looked around in the gymnasium. What a nice place for a monkey to swing and play. Who's that fellow with you? asked Mr. Nicholas, the coach. This is my friend George, Jimmy said. He came to watch the game. Okay, said Mr. Nicholas. I'll have to get a whistle. I lost my own. Looks like your team needs one more player. Bobby is sick. I'll hold on to his uniform. Couldn't George take his place, Mr. Nicholas? asked Jimmy. Mr. Nicholas looked at George. I don't see why not, he said, and walked off. Put on Bobby's uniform, George, said Jimmy, and he went to the court. George got dressed. Suddenly, he stepped on something hard. It was the coach's lost whistle. George picked it up. Soon, the coach came back with a new whistle. Let's get started, he called. When I blow twice, the game starts. When I blow once, the game stops. George was listening. Both teams took their positions. Jimmy's team wore red. The other team wore blue. Mr. Nicholas blew twice, and the game started. One red player passed the ball, and Jimmy got a basket. The crowd cheered. Now George blew his whistle once. The game stopped. Then George blew his whistle twice. And the game started again. What's going on? shouted the coach. Who's blowing that whistle? He was angry. Maybe that little monkey, said one of the players. Yeah, said another player. Sounds like George is at it again. There he is, yelled someone else. George was scared. It was time to get away. He ran across the court, climbed up a steel girder, and hid behind the backboard. The game went on. It was nearly the end of the game. There were only a few seconds left. Jimmy's team needed one more basket to win. Jimmy dribbled the ball in closer to the basket. The blue team tried to stop him. Time was running out. Shoot the ball, Jimmy, they shouted. Jimmy aimed carefully and shot. The ball went high, but the shot was not good enough. George knew what to do. Quickly, he jumped down, just in time to grab the ball and shoot it into the basket. The crowd cheered. Hooray for George, shouted Jimmy. We won. Then the coach came over. You've caused enough trouble, he shouted. Give me back that whistle. But coach, said Jimmy, George was the one who helped us win. Come to think of it, he did, said Mr. Nicholas, and he smiled. Good work, George. Time to go home, George, said the man with the yellow hat. George can play here any time said the coach, but I'll do the whistling. Then George and his friend got in their little blue car and drove off.